So, uh, what are we gonna do tonight, OCG? Well, the same thing we try to do every night, Bertram. Take over YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Buck-Totem Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is my review for the Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2. So, dear viewer, if you wouldn't mind, don't you dare forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Now, please note, before I deliver this hilarious review to you, ladies and gentlemen, let me just assure you that I am in no way going to be biased. That's right. If I give this game a good review, it has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I hope the angry video game nerd himself sees this review and either wishes to employ me on his channel, hire me as a comedy writer, or indeed give me a blowjob. So, I just wanted to put that out there before we do the review. So, let's go! Uh, did you just say you want to receive a blow? Yes, yes, Bertram, I'm aware of what I just said. We're too late to take it back now, so we might as well just forget about it. So, the Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe Edition released at some point, and this is a compilation of not one, not two, but technically three separate video games, <gasps> starring the Angry Video Game Nerd himself. Now, story. Now, the plot for the two main games is pretty much the exact same thing. The angry video game nerd gets sucked into a shitty video game, and he must go through all stages inspired by a lot of 80s video games in the hope that he can get back to the real world. So far, so simple. Now, I already said, a little hint of what you can expect in the gameplay department for this game, and yes, it is very much like a 1980s platforming video game. So that means you're going to be dealing with knockback, pits of spikes, pits that kill you instantly, enemies that kill you instantly, enemies that don't even have to touch you and remove your trousers to suck the very life out of you through your urethra. And these stages are all heavily inspired by video games such as Castlevania, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Friday the 13th, not the recent Friday the 13th video game, we are talking about the 1980s piece of shit Friday the 13th video game, which I do believe the angry video game nerd has reviewed on his channel. Not only that, but I think it is one of his best reviews. I'll say that again, just so anyone, so everyone can hear me. One of his best reviews, because let's not forget, the angry video game nerd is probably, next to myself, the funniest gaming YouTuber on YouTube. Please employ me, but, you know, blow, blow job wouldn't... I wouldn't turn that down. But anyway, let's, let's, let's move on. Like I said, I'm going to remain completely unbiased in this review. Love you, AVGN. Love you. <sighs> Especially those glasses. <laughs> oh my. Oh my indeed. Anyway, so, gameplay. Ah, we've already discussed the gameplay. So you move through various stages, like I said, platforming, avoiding enemies, probably dying repeatedly. I myself died over 150 times in just trying to play through these two games. That's more times than Rasputin died. Yes, so you don't only get gaming trivia on this channel, you also get real world trivia. Yes, weren't expecting that, were you? Oh, and must I say there is an absolutely delightful sequence that, uh relates to a certain killer shark movie that was also turned into an absolutely terrible 1980s video game. 
So you can look out for that. Uh, what else can I tell you? Yes, in the first game, and I think in the second as well, you can uh, look for cameo characters, other playable characters that you can play as, such as Mike, who's someone you might have seen on Angry Video Game Nerds channel quite a few times. So if you enjoy 1980s video games, I'm absolutely certain you will enjoy this. And for all you amateur gamers out there who maybe think the game is a bit too hard, rest assured there is an easy difficulty mode, which I absolutely did not play on. Uh, shut up Bertram, don't say anything. So, lots of colourful stages inspired by 1980s video games, all with an AVGN flavour to it. We play as the Angry Video Game Nerd himself or some other cameo characters. Stages based on Castlevania, like I said, Jaws, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, Friday the 13th, not the recent one, the 1980s one. Lots of nostalgia all wrapped up in this little package and not one, not two, but technically three video games. You can discover what the third one is once you pick the game up for yourself, which I highly recommend you do. Pick it up right now and give ABGN your money, because maybe then he'll say it's thanks to me and want to employ me on his channel, or maybe take me on as a comedy writer, because after all, I am fucking hilarious, aren't I, Bertram? Uh, shut up, Bertram. So, in conclusion, I declare that Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe is splendid. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My totally not biased review for Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe. If you enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then feel free to give me a thumbs down. But please remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram. Are you still here? Oh, you must have really enjoyed this video then. In that case, you had better subscribe to the channel and check out our other content. Otherwise, you're a booby pants. And no one wants to be a booby pants.